and welcome back to another episode of Jordan Uncorked. I'm Maggie Cruz. And I'm John Duckett. And today we have a special request from a friend of the winery and a friend of mine, Jack Barnett from Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, Jack has requested a 1994 Cabernet Sauvignon. He must have one in his cellar and he wants to see how it's tasting. Hopefully we'll give an answer here. Yeah. So what was going on in 94? Oh, 1994. So we had uh, O.J. Simpson Ooh, with nice. the white Ford Bronco. Uh, Beanie Babies became a thing. Tawny Harding and uh, Nancy Kerrigan. Nancy Kerrigan. Ooh, yeah. A little little scuffle there. Uh -huh. And then we lost Kurt Cobain and John Candy. So uh, on a depressing note, there you go. Some highs and lows. So 1994, uh, growing season wise, what do we have? A little drawn out? A little long longer. growing season. The harvest dates were really long. September, I think 7th to the end of October, October 28th, something like that, which is a very long harvest for reds. Mm -hmm. um, just a cool growing season, not a lot of heat spikes, a lot of hang time for that fruit. So see how it's holding up. I think right off the bat, it seems a little lighter. Um, not as much fruit concentration on the palate anyway. Mm -hmm. um, You're definitely getting more of the oak aromas kind of coming yeah. through. It's not a ton of black fruit or anything. There's a little bit of strawberry no. and cherry in there. Mm -hmm. But at cherry, the same time, I'm not getting really like the dried characteristics. Of an like dried really fruit aged kind of yeah. cab. Yeah. Um, which, which I think goes for kind of our house style, just um, the higher acidity allowing these wines to age um, more gracefully than, say, some other wines may mm -hmm. uh, from the same years. Yep. The acidity, the low alcohol, the mm -hmm. overall fruit profile at the beginning. Kind of packs this package uh -huh. of being able to just last for um, decades, really. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, for this one, I would say probably probably to drink this one now. Yes, I would Jack, say. enjoy this one yeah, now. Yeah, probably open this up and enjoy it now. Yeah, I wouldn't hold on to it. I don't think it's going to get better at this stage. Maybe no. perhaps a larger format will have a little bit more life to it. Sure. Or a little bit yeah, more you get a few aroma. more years out of a larger mm -hmm. format. So if you know a three or six liter or a magnum, something like that, mm -hmm. you've got you probably hold on for a little longer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this being a little bit of a lighter year, maybe a pairing with some lighter fare, maybe a chicken dish or something like that, mm -hmm. or, or like a pork a risotto. Risotto, or... yeah. Um, maybe shy away from the, uh, the heavier, creamier sauced steaks or something like that. Yeah, I think it would definitely get lost. Yeah, still pretty bright on the palate. Mm -hmm. um, you know, thanks to that acidity. Yeah. So, um, yeah, definitely, yeah, drink it now though. Drink it now. If you got it, drink it. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for joining us uh, for this February episode of Jordan on Court, 1994. Um, keep the comments coming, like us, and hopefully we will get something tasted so we can see you guys in March. So cheers. Cheers.